This Fairy Queen's tough, though. Well, she's not tough until that flower thing happened, right? Which I'm hoping is the halfway point of this fight. I'm hoping. So we can then just beat her after that. Would really love if that was the case, but... Uh... Oh, I don't know. Alright, let's do this swap in and do a boring heal all on everybody. Yeah, that's gonna start all over, and now I just gotta prep for that uh, flower thing. That is a huge problem, that that's... But I don't think I can, like, out-damage the flower, right? Like, it had so much health that it was rocking, you saw how much it did, so I think... Trying to kill the flower is not really gonna work. It just kind of felt that way, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna lay on the damage on the queen when that happens, and like I gotta put debuffs on the flower though, and big defensive buffs on my team though, and that might uh, that might uh, you know like put defensive stance on Glenn and like use heroic ode on everybody, and then like you know the offensive like draw attack on um, the flower, you know, wear that thing down. That that has to be my play, I think. Quick little cheeky heal there. Oh, why the heck not? It'll reduce the meter, so... Once that flower shows up, we can use that. Um, hmm. What was the thing I used the one time? Uh, not, let's just use Holy Spirit, I guess, because these will... Summon that spirit ready, and we'll provide some TP when the time comes. Oof! Well, no, Raphael is in a bit of a pickle because he's not getting healed by uh, Amalia. Was that the thing I was thinking about last time that's a problem with the pair? I think that's what I was thinking. Okay, if we die here with the Fairy Queen, now I remember. I think I was thinking that I'd swap, um, I'd swap Amalia with uh, Micah. So that it's uh, Raphael and Micah and Bathras and Amalia. Because uh, Micah's got healing tricks of her own, and Bothras has healing tricks. So, that I think that'll work better. Let's see if I can survive this fight with this uh, setup right now, though. You never know. Suck it! Alright, and then put that all a break. Ooh, I should have probably actually healed, right? Because, ooh, we are, like, in... Bit of a pickle here, hmm. Well, you know what? No, hold on, let's try this. Let's just use Drunken Master, see if we can outspeed this. No, we could not. Someone's getting KO'd right now. Unless we get lucky. No, she really likes using that twice, that move. Yeah, yeah, this is a, this is a huge problem. With this current setup, that like, oh, ooh, actually, this is a huge. Hold on now. Uh, yeah, uh, like, yeah, I think Raphael and Amalia being paired up is actually a real because then I'm e using up supplies to get the Raphael back up when he inevitably like falls down. So, um, yeah, I I think I need to rethink that pair. Yeah, yeah. We're hanging on, but it's making a little bit of extra headwork for me that I kind of wish we didn't have going here, so... Uh, yeah. There we go. Oof, put that charm so we can't swap out, so it goes. Oof! Okay, nice, so... Sienna actually gets two turns right away, so let's do this and look at how gnarly her turn order is when she's on the field now. It, it, it's nuts, so um, I'm gonna use it some other turn though. Can swap out now. Take that. Ooh. Heavy stat, not bad. Drop a cheeky heal on everybody. Whoa. 
Crest, heal. Ugh. Ooh, this, this really grinds you down like, surprisingly hard. It's kind of brutal. Oh, wait. How did she get another turn so soon? Oh, no. Hold on. Well, we're still in here, and I'm going to use my Ultra Move right now. Just... Probably the safe bet here. Get two people up at once. I could finagle and try to get two of them up, but, you know, save that Ultra Move in the chamber. Nah, let's just do this now and see if we can make the dream work. Ooh, that's not very good to damage at all. Oh, that's my whole weapon multiplier gone. Gotta build it all up again. Eh. I can live with it. All right, now here we are. Oh no, I can't speed myself up though because uh, I don't want I don't want to fall out of overdrive. Well, that's a problem. Well, let's put a bleed effect on her instead. Petal storm? No. So many agility buffs, so little use. Alright, no worries with the overdrive meter, because now we use the Heroic Ode to buff our whole team up. Let's go! And, uh... A heal or a TP? Let's actually use this, because our we have some TP hogs in the team. Might as well just do that. I'm gonna do this, see if we get a turn before the Queen, because she's so damn fast. We did not. Oh well. Darn, she got hit, lost quick step. It was a cheeky ploy, but it didn't work out. Well, we're still pretty fast, so... Enjoy! Yeah, yeah, yes! Those were values I like to see. Uh, normally I'd swap out, but I, I gotta heal this team up, so we're gonna do that. Ta-da! Oh, I don't want to use that. Just get a free TP refill instead. Aw, oh, she's not heavy anymore. Okay, well... Ooh, everyone keeps waking up early. Very handy. Yep. Uh, okay, well, we're pretty high health now, so... We can tank it. I don't risk swapping out to... Raphael here, so I'm gonna have to drop another heal so we can survive this. This wave here, yep. You know, I just thought, there is of course a defend option. Probably the safest bet when the bomb's about to go off, it's just put defend on, right? Maybe try to debuff the bomb once, like, it, like, comes up, but, like, you know, then just defend once it's one turn off from popping. That is the safest move, isn't it? Let's extend that bleed, oh yeah. Kind of, I don't use that tactic very often, but it's, uh, it's a smart thing to do. I... I'm really going through technical points here, so might as well use that. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I can't swap out because I'm charmed. All right, that's fine. Extended! Well, here we are again. Let's see how this goes now. Let's drop th this lady's combat potential a little bit. Make her less of a problem, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Please use something else. No! So now we got to use another turn with uh, Victor here. Or, actually, Bothros goes first, my bad. To get uh, 
Oh, we're gonna lose Tiger Combo if I do this. I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway, though. Keep that Tiger Combo going. Unfortunate, but so it's gotta be. Hey, cool! The Spirit's still around, even though Raphael is KO'd. That's kinda fun. Back in action! Oh my god, we're so beat up. But we got a new Ultra move ready to go in the chamber. That's how much we've been, like, uh, tossed and turned and beat around here, so... That's kind of nutty. Oh no, there's that thorn flower. Well, thankfully, we only ate through that one there. Alright, I am not going to use the Ultra move when... Uh, I'm not going to use the Ultra move here. Instead, I'm just going to heal our team up. I think we have... Unfortunately, I couldn't, like, debuff this damn... I could not debuff this damn bug, so I think... Okay, looking at the turn order. Okay, okay, okay. can do this. Ooh, but I gotta keep that overdrive meter low. So let's let's speed up the team, see if we can get some moves off here. A little bit few moves before the explosion, Thornflower's explosion. Okay, not not very impressive. Alright, think this very carefully now. Mm. She's at full health, so we bring her in and we put a defend. Right. Bothra's is kind of low on health. I wonder which one, but she's probably got a good magic stat. I think it's magic damage that this explosion does. So he is also going to defend. Now, our sacrificial one here... It's going to heal the team up. There we go. Now here's the question. Do I defend or do I swap in Glenn and use a debuff on the Thorn? I'm going to defend because I think Victor survived the explosion the best. I think he's got such a good uh, magic defense, so. Ugh, not, not. Good. That's good. She didn't do double binding wings. And now, ugh, oh my god. Yeah, the, our, she really was the sacrificial one there. Holy moly. Um, I'm actually gonna, just in case, use an Angel Wing here. Maybe she gets a turn before the Queen? No, she did not. Okay, okay. Darn! I was really hoping we get a turn before the Queen. Okay, looks... Oh, no, my, my, my Angel Wing was a waste. Okay, okay, okay. No, let's not freak out. No, let's not freak out. We can still recover here. Come on, then. Come on, you. Well, we can't get to Amalia's turn is the bullshit part here. Darn it. Unbelievable. But what we can do... Okay, okay. Has he got any summoned? He has. Let's use a summon heal. Clutch heal from Bothras. We're still in it. That's awesome. Okay, that was clutch. Did we... Did, did, did this did this proc just now? Because her health is very low. I'm not sure if this procced. I, I I wasn't paying attention, sadly. Okay. Let's bring in somebody who also is super beat up. Great. Okay. Probably should have just done a regular attack there. That wasn't very smart of me. Ah, well. And where have you been all this time, Glenn? Oh my goodness, we could really use that all break on the Queen right now. 
Um, I'm actually gonna keep that Ultra Move in the chamber. Look at this, like, you get a pretty good heal off right here. So, let's let's save that for a bad day, that uh, Ultra Move there. Let's start building our Weapons Multiplier again. Mm. Ugh, so... so. Mm. Okay. Oh, if she summons the, the Thorn Explosion Flower a second time... That's when we're in big trouble, so I need to see how this goes now. Well, let's do some big damage first. Ooh, that smarts, don't it, Queen? Oh, yeah. Yas, Queen. Hey, why the hell not? Let's go bongo here. <laughs> oh, that might be a misplay. Uh, but what I want to do another heal all. Oh, is this a good idea? Should I drop the crest heal already? I, I'm not sure. Because she's going to do double blinding light now. It's going to hurt like hell again. Uh, blinding wings. Mm, crest block! Mm. Yup! That was not pleasant. But Boy, I should have just, like, let her go, should have died. This this fight is, uh, wearing a guy down. Oh, but we fell out of overdrive, too. Well, oh, that's not good. Nah, regular attack. Yeah, you'll love it. Now's the time for that ultra move, even though we fall out of overdrive. But, you know, get a quick heal for everybody and get uh, Sienna back on her feet. Double healing ultra move from what's her face in a single fight. That's kind of crazy. Oof. Well, we really need, though. Look at that. We need TP regen and quick. I haven't paid attention to that at all, but, like, that is a problem. So, let's see if I can sneak in or if we need to do some heals again in a bit. Quick step there. And let's, yeah, let's actually drop, where is it, Valor Minway. Get some TP regen going that our team desperately needs here. Yeah. Oh my god, Bothra's is so beat up. I'm going to use this, actually, to make sure we get some TP back. Even though Bothrod is probably about to get KO'd, unless I kill the Queen right now. I mean, this scales with agility, and we got some crazy agility buffs, so here's hoping. Oh! It was maximum five hits, so that was pretty nice. And the bleed there, too. Oh, yeah. Double blinding wings, how un unbelievably unlucky. Okay. Bring him up. Mm. God, look at our health stitch. We are so bad at this. Ho <laughs> ho! Put that all break in there. Oh my god, but Amalia's about to get KO'd. And, oh my god. Hmm. Did I do a misplay here? I may have. Amalia, please, please get yourself together. Oh, nice, she gets a turn in there. Very good. I mean, let's just extend it. Why the hell not? There we go. Uh, I'm going to use Heal All instead of uh, raising Len for just a second here. Oh! I think the bleed... The bleed... That... Is that... I, there was a boss recently that we also beat with the bleed just proccing. Wow! Okay. Ooh, skin of our teeth, I gotta say. That was getting scary there. 
Why did it have to come to this? Why this xenophobia, Lily? We fairies must change, or this will be our undoing. Huh? What's that? It's one of Raditz's jewels. What does this mean? It's a fairy's heart. Oh, that's very not good. That puts the harvesting in a very different light, Unu. Th that's where the jewels come from? Dead fairies! So... You are a fairy, Magnolia? <sighs> Once I was the queen of this realm. We had a pact with the ancient human kings that no human could enter this domain. One day, some human children strayed in here. According to the law, we should have executed them, but I refused. So I was stripped of most of my power and banished. I'm... I'm sorry. But you made the right decision. <laughs> Who knows? I just wish I could control my power better. Then I could have stopped Lily. I do love the fact that, like, she's actually personable enough that she refers to the Fairy Queen by a name. Like, you know, we just referred to her as the Fairy Queen, but it's a fun little touch there. My power fluctuates a lot. Sometimes I change shapes without being able to control it. Is that why you disappeared so quickly when we left Glenn's mind? Yes, I took on my fairy form and collapsed. Some merchants found me and sold me to Radat. And he was aware that a fairy was needed to break the barrier around the village? He was well informed. Apparently he had been searching for the source of the stones for years. Did I hear my name? So? Did you discover a gem deposit? What the? Rob, shut the hell up, man. No, unfortunately no trace of the gems. We haven't found anything either. No trace. If that's the case, I'm afraid there's only one way left. Back to the village. Yeah, we're just not gonna tell... <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, this would have happened anyway if we told him, right? I think, maybe, I don't know. What, what are you doing? Spit it out. Where do we find these gems? We don't know. Never seen any. Falfalaran. Lies. We found a gemstone in one of your houses. There are certainly more. Radat, stop it. You're going too far. I didn't ask for your opinion. Help us, your majesty. <laughs> what is that? Oh, this is bad. They're summoning her. The new queen will appear. Oh god, we just got done with the first one. Hate and despair have summoned me. Revenge is my thirst. So how does this fairy queen business work? Because Magnolia apparently was one. But she is not like this. Therefore, my name shall be Forget-Me-Not. Oh, I just now realized Magnolia is a flower, and a lily is a flower, and a Forget-Me-Not is also a flower. Yeah. And in this manner I shall act. You pests will be put out of existence. Oh my god, oh Jesus! Well, you know, it makes me wonder, was the previous Fairy Queen able to do that? And if so, why didn't she just wipe us out the same way? Why did we not get Thanos snapped? Oh my god. They vanished? And now for you. Come on, Magnolia, now would be a great time to be a really powerful fairy! My power might be fluctuating, 
but it still carries the weight of hundreds of years of growth. By the way, gotta say, I haven't complained too much about the character portraits and the fact that they don't really change ever to reflect the emotions of the characters. They're very static portraits. I've been silent so far about that, not really complaining about it. I can think of only one time it's actually changed. Well, maybe I'll talk about it in my review at the end of the game. I'll leave that as a puzzle for you to try and remember when it happened. But uh, anyway, boy do I wish Magnolia had a custom avatar right here, you know? Like a custom portrait for her Fairy Queen version. This is really, this is kind of disappointing. I I'm very annoyed. Well, okay, that's maybe that's strong words, but it is annoying that she doesn't get a custom portrait here, you know. Oh, well. You are still young. No more than a newborn. Farewell. Damn, counter Thanos snap. That actually tracks. Okay. Forgive me. I will honor your name. Murderer! You killed the queen! We... We didn't mean to. We really didn't. Go! Just go! Spare us more suffering! But... Damn, this was a really tough like uh, situation, right? But I... I, I do think the... the, the, the I do think Radat's team got what was coming to them, so... I think... I don't like that they had to get vaporized, and I don't like that we end on bad terms, but I don't see... there. I don't think there was a very elegant solution out of this situation. Get out of here! I think we picked about as best as uh, options as we could in that mess. Yeah, right, yeah, okay, here we go, yeah. Magnolia... It was all out of our hands. Thank you, Glenn. Of course it was. Of course! These fools! How dare they treat me like this! Me, the divine diva of the Equilibrium! I wanted to help everyone! I just wanted to help everyone the fairies think all other beings in this world are evil certainly they should be careful because not everyone can be trusted but with this attitude they do themselves no good you are different you have your own business helping people no matter who they are you are great, Magnolia. By the way, this is a great speech for Glenn to be having after all of his self-doubts. This actually feels like proper character growth for him to be the one to, like, give this pep talk to Magnolia. This is really fantastic. Glenn. I... I love you! Why does Glenn look so just like... Ugh. <laughs> this is hilarious. Huh? Let me join your clan. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to make this world a better place. For everyone. No matter if it's a fairy or a human. Lily, watch closely as I accomplish this. <laughs> Alrighty then. Good stuff. Complete the quest. Falfalaron sings the fairy. Alright, um, I might have to make this a short episode. Like, I think I'm gonna, I, I can't go super long today. So, I think last episode has to be short because I'm gonna cut it at the cliffhanger of dying to the fairy queen. Not a great, it's kind of a lame cliffhanger, but so it goes. Now, what does uh, Magnolia do in our clan? It, it didn't mention that. Um, what we can do here at the end of the episode is... How much money do I have? I got uh, 5,000. Very good. Uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, I'm going to talk to... Oh, interesting. There's a little farm growing there. 
Was this here previously? Is this a new rank? Have we achieved a new rank of clan? There's no new dialogue with anybody, so I don't think so. But I don't remember this farm being here. I, I might just be misremembering. Anyway, I want to find Magnolia and figure out what she's doing in our crew. Um, and I am going to do our requisite level up because we got a Grimoire Shard from fighting the Fairy Queen. I wonder, yeah, like, would we have missed out on a Grimoire Shard if I hadn't taken her on? Maybe. Oh, is this the wife? I forgot what she does, but now she's here. Hold on. Never his wife to begin with. <laughs> the drinks here are half as bad. Oh, you need anything? Do you want me to show you how to mine for only a certain type of crystal? Which type would you like? Oh, right, that was her benefit. She, like, you can pick certain specific crystals. I'm good with random. Here you go. Happy digging. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a kind of a fun you know ability in the party. Very good. Now where is Magnolia? Is she gonna be hanging out with the oracles? Oh, by the way, once I'm done leveling up, I've got the cash. We'll buy some more tips. So next time we are still not gonna continue the main quest. I'm going to find some more clan members. Unless we've actually hit the limit and the uh, the waterfall guy in Augurain Grotto is the last member. If that's the case, then yeah, actually we are going main quest last time. But let's wait and see. I wanted to talk to Magnolia first. See what she does, you know. Hmm... I liked her story arc, though, quite a bit. I, I like them... Well, I don't know. Like, it, it was just kind of cool like how she, like, grew into a character. I, I feel like she wasn't much... Like, to begin with. Like, I, I don't know. Like, she was interesting, like, when she showed up in that first side story. You know? Like, okay. Here's, here's a character that seems to get a little bit more focus. I dig it. And then, you know, she actually became part of the main quest. That was a nice surprise. And uh, I thought she was pretty neat. And now this, like, she actually got some character growth there. I like it. Oh, she's here helping the wounded because, right, she is, in fact, out to help everybody. My dearest Glenn, I hope you are well. Amalia has been taking good care of the injured so far. Her healing powers are first class. Now, I want to take care of the clan's mental well-being. Okay, what does that mean in practice? I need to know. I, I, I'm annoyed that we didn't get a, uh, you know, you know, congratulations, Amalia joined the clan. Here's what she does. I, it's, it's now a mystery. I hate it. Ah, well. Anyway, let's do this next. Get these uh, going here. Uh, oh, my God. I, what do I pick now? I remember because I was having so much trouble picking these last time. Um, shoot. Was I going for all the elemental strikes? I think I was. But let's pick a static stat from here now, because that's an easy thing to do. Let's, let's actually get agility, I guess. Speed him up a little bit. Speed up. Now, let's do that here, too. I, also, because I'm strapped for time, I, I don't want to put too much th thought into this either. Let's just... Well, actually, let's get health points for him so he lasts a little bit longer. Although, I will swap out the party members. I will do that. Actually, but, uh, yeah. Um... You know, this is actually kind of good. Uh, even with three hits, that's 1.8 damage. Now, her physical stat is pretty low, so that probably counters that, and in the end, it's not very impressive. But this spear rush isn't terrible. It's kind of cool. Kinda. Okay, uh, this is actually kind of neat, this... Actually, she's got pretty good TP, and her TP gains are pretty good, so I might actually take this at some point. But let's just do, because I'm trying to be easy here, let's just... Let's just get here. Let's get tech points plus five, I guess. There we go. Uh, agility for her. Why the heck not? Yep. 
I'm, I'm, I'm having such trouble because I'm really, really like stuffed with uh, tricks now. So it's very hard to pick what I want to do. Um, I don't use Basso Profondo almost ever anymore. Do I even have it equipped? I don't remember. I don't. Like, I'm trying to think if I bought the two, like, debuff abilities that hit all, like, which which of these skills would I swap them with? Because these ones, maybe. I just... Although then I won't get any utility out of them. But that's where Len comes in with her clutches. So, I don't know. Should I start investing in that? Maybe I will. Maybe I will, Paul. You know what? I will. You know what? I will do it. I will do it. God damn it. But I'm going to have to play it smart then, so I actually get some utility out of these, so, yeah. Um, right, okay. Learn skills. Okay, go back here. Mm. Why the heck? Oh, no defense. Let's get some defense for her. I think her tech point sit is pretty good. Got the two things here. Uh, maybe some defense here as well. Whoa. Is there anything I want here? Heaven or hell. Let's rock. This could come in clutch. And uh, it, would, it would diversify his skill ability. So let's get revenge. But the question is, what do I want to swap that for? Because his selection of skills is really set in. Uh, I think it has to be Light Claymore, actually. Because Dark Spear and Light Sword are... You know, I'm, I'm not using all hitting moves very much. So I'll put that away and put Revenge in there. You know what? Let's go. Let's just do that. Now, physical attack dealing damage based on user's current HP and a potency of 1. What does that mean? Oh my god, hold on. I just noticed something. Have you guys noticed something in the row of characters at the top? Oh. Okay, let's get to that in a second. But to me, revenge sounds like something that works when your HP is low, right? Not like when you're like at high health. So we'll have to see. We'll just have to test how it goes in like an actual fight. We'll have to take a fight that isn't too tough and like just test it out, you know? We'll let that be for now. Oh, these guys who aren't in the party. Okay. Well, let's just get defense for this guy. Yeah. Nature's mirror. Random step buff. Okay. Uh, sleep powder. Soul parasite. All elements. This could be handy for someone like the, the fairy queen we just beat up. So I'm actually going to get soul parasite. Par soul parasite. Not that I'm sure I'm ever going to have these two in the party, but, like, it's the options there. Um, what was I doing? Right, set skills. Unfortunately, my party is so huge now that I'm not sure some of these guys are ever going to show up in the team, but... Uh, gotta keep the options there. Mm. All of these abilities are really good. Maybe herbal medicine, which, like, mm. It's so useful to remove all, like, debuffs, but I just seem to, like, wait them out. So I'm just gonna let that be and put Soul Parasite in there. Now then, uh, we're gonna skip over, uh, Tomke here. But what the hell is this? Magnolia the party member? Is this real? Is this real? What the fist is? She is real. She's got crappy cards, but they're still an eighth level. She's the card user! Cool. All right, what do we want to give her? Boring ass defense gorget. Now I can't help but notice actually her attack stats are really good too. But her magic is something else. Although Bothros's magic is ridiculous. Wow, how have I gotten his magic that good? Now I haven't applied uh, any uh, any uh, skills yet, so let's get on that with Magnolia. So this is actually going to take a moment, unfortunately. Uh. 
You know what? Actually, I am going to save this. I'm going to save this. I'm going to make a note and I'm going to save this for next episode. Because I am, as mentioned, out of time here. And this might actually inter interest people. So I'm going to have the start of the episode. We're going to go through Magnolia's abilities. Figure out if we can have her in the team. Falfalaron's an actual... Oh my god, hold on. Transform into fairy form for three turns. Does she actually, like, switch, like, like uh, character sprites if that happens? Now I kind of want to do that. Oh, that's kind of fun. Lucky seven. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> oh, is she going to be, like, a really, like, chance-based... She is because of the card theme. Oh, I don't like characters like that. Oh, no. I'm going to have to think about this, but we'll think about it next time. But let's close off the episode by buying a couple of uh, new tips for guild members. Oh, this is cool, though. Magnolia is really cool, so having her a party member, possibly, is cool. But whose spot is she going to take? That's the, that's the really tough choice. Oh, no. I'm going to have to really think about this. Let's see. The woodworker's job is finally done. To the Fjord Woods with you. Interesting, the Fjord Woods, huh? I don't remember this guy. Somewhere there's a mage. Or are they a farmer? His health needs a vacation, but his brain would rather continue working. Oh, I know who this is. This one I can figure out, thankfully. That's a payoff to a side quest that we did earlier. Very neat. <gasps> That's the last guys! Okay, unless there's even more after this tier, but we must be hitting the end of characters, right? So there's only three characters left, and maybe, like, someone will still be revealed. I don't know. I I'm, starting to, I'm starting to suspect this is the last stock, though. So there's a woodworker in the Fjord Woods. That's gonna be a little tough to find, but I'll do my best to try and figure that out. We'll start from the village and work our way there. And after that, there's the the mage farmer, who I do know. And then there's just that guy in Augrain that we just can't figure out. Mm, that's too bad. Mm. Okay, but next time, we level up Magnolia, see how she fits in the team. Can we swap somebody out for her? I really like everybody in the team right now, so it's gonna be a tough choice. And after that, guild members, and maybe finally the main quest again. Huzzah! There's no, uh, no side quests anymore. Nope. Good. Yeah. Had to check just in case I was forgetting one. It's been swell. Catch you all next time for more action. Okay, bye.